Wealth. How is true wealth measured? I'm Dr. Kelly Martin Chu, Amazon best-selling author, speaker, and transformational coach for women. So I'm wondering, wondering if you are feeling like you can never measure up financially. You're always chasing that dollar bill and it just never seems to be enough. Or you make a goal financially and you reach that goal and your mind is already to the next thing. So today, in honor of my step-grandfather's passing last night about 2 a.m., I have really been reflecting upon his life and how wealthy he was. And yet, I have no idea how much money he had in his bank account. And I would say he's a man that wasn't flashy. He was a very simple man. And uh, what I realize and what I've been thinking about in these past several days, uh, as he has been uh, slowly declining on the, uh, in, in the past like two weeks, he died at the age of 90. And just a month ago, this man was a vibrant. In fact, the doctors couldn't believe in the hospital that he was 90 years old. In fact, I feel like sometimes, I feel like I have more wrinkles than he has. And, uh, you know, he lived a very, very full life. You know, as again, a month ago, he was um, vibrant and healthy and he got sick and then just a fast decline. So I want to review what does, what is wealth? And for me, wealth really is based on and created through connections. What I love about Trib is he lived a life from heart, from his heart. You know, he was always making people laugh. He would say, you know, I remember uh, years ago when he was probably, let's see, I met him when he was, I guess, 70 or so, when he uh, remarried and married my, my grandmother. And I was so happy for her. Um, because he just brought so much love into her life and he made her laugh. He was always telling jokes and he really led a simple life. You know, so anyway, when I went men back, I think he was probably about 70 or so, he would say that he was gonna go to the old folks home. And even in his 70s and 80s, like he never really considered himself old because he would go to these nursing homes and he would play the spoons and uh, play his bluegrass music and tell jokes and make people laugh. And uh, so I have learned so much from him as I have been reflecting upon my life. You know, the passing of a loved one, it really makes you think. And so here's some things that I really think um, true, true wealth is can be measured by. And that is, you know, um, he would volunteer, as I said, and in that volunteering, he would volunteer with, at the church. And so if you're not feeling wealthy, go volunteer. In fact, he watched my mother and her sisters and brother grow up in the church. And he was the man that would greet everybody. And uh, I, I'll tell you, we receive uh, so much by just hugging people and making them smile and shaking hands. So I believe that that made him really wealthy. So if you're not feeling wealthy, go out and volunteer and give of yourself. The other thing is he created a club, or at least one, he and his friends created a, a club, and they called him the ROM Club, which he would say was the raunchy old men. And these men would gather weekly for years and they would just get together and they would walk the mall and have coffee and that became part of his routine. So if you've not been spending time with those you love, whether it's your family or your friends, take the time, take the time, slow down now, you know, to really feel like life has meaning and it's these the depths of these relationships that you will grow over a long period of time that create such a wealthy life. And then the third thing uh, that uh, I'm going to encourage you to do is laugh. And laugh every day if you can, no matter what's going on in your life. Trib always made us laugh 
and he would always uh, express interest in what we were doing. So those are the three things that I would like you to use to measure how wealthy you are. How much do you give? You know, um, do you spend time with family and friends, like really quality time? It doesn't have to be the quantity, quality time. And are you laughing in life? And uh, so this is uh, in tribute to Trib, uh, an amazing great grandfather to my daughter, an amazing uh, step grandfather to me. And he died a very wealthy man. If you like what you saw today, be sure to like our Facebook page and comment in the section below. Let me know why you believe your life is filled with wealth. Thanks. Signing off, Dr. Kelly Martin Shu, Amazon bestselling author, speaker, and transformational coach for women.